Let's talk about Reacher. He's just too damn big. With this man, he's the White Hulk. He's too damn big. All right, to give you context, I really enjoyed Reacher Season 1, and I am into Season 2 with Reacher. But my God, the man is too big. What, he's on every Mexican supplement he could ever find. He, he's, got, he's dropping them on the ground. He's gobbling them up. This man is too big. When you watch the show, he can't fit into any clothes. When he walks around, he's like the Hulk. He's crushing everything. Oh, my God. Let's talk about it. Anyway, I am the man you may know as he, and um, I'm going to talk a little bit about Alan Richman. Richson? Richson. I'm sorry. Star of Reacher, who you may know from such things as, uh, man, what did I see him in? Oh, he was in Hawk in, what was that show? It was like Batman, but Batman was retired, and he was in another show, which you may, well, you probably weren't familiar with. Robin says F Batman in it. It'll come back to me. So he hasn't been in a ton of things, but I liked him from that, whatever that was. He was one half of Hawk and Dove. And, uh, yeah, I've been keeping an eye on him. I think he's a, he's a pretty good actor, and I gave him a chance in the first season of Reacher. And it's interesting because we may know Reacher as the Tom Cruise, uh, two movies from Tom Cruise. It's a Lee Child's book, which is very popular. And Tom Cruise wasn't quite big and Hulk enough to pull it off until they found this monstrosity. And he's like a half a foot tall. I don't know how tall he is, but he's like a half a foot taller than everybody in the show. At least he looks like it. And... It, from see, season one, he was big. He was a big boy. Season two, he can barely move in it. He's so big. He needed to drop some weight. I don't know what's going on here. Uh, let's talk about uh, reason season or Reacher season two comes out swinging for Amazon and Skydance's <coughs> Prime's video top title of the year. So what's funny about this is Amazon has two series. Um, they have this series and the Chris Pratt series. I can't believe I can't remember this. It, it's like, ter oh, it's Terminal List. So they have Reacher, uh, which comes with a relatively unknown actor. And then they have the Chris Pratt-driven project, Terminal List, which I also thought was fantastic. They call them the meat and potatoes of Prime Video. <laughs> Obviously, because they... These men's is slabs of beef. They have some beefcakes in these shows. And they ain't afraid to show it. It's definitely a little mommy porn in here. Um, versus like things like Rings of Power, which are infinitely more expensive and bring in less views. Terminal List was like number one on Amazon Prime forever. And Reacher, Reacher Season 1 came back on the list again. So apparently... <laughs> Um, 50, they, they eclipsed their audience from season one by 50% in the first three days of the streamer. And that's because nobody knew how good Reacher was. And it's very strange because Alan Richardson, he plays him very particular. Like there's something a little off about Reacher, extraordinarily intelligent, probably on the spectrum. And I think that's an interesting way to take on him. And, and I think it's great. I really enjoy it. I think it's it's very good. It's season one was already a home run with 1.84 billion stream hours. This is gonna beat it for sure. The first three episodes came out. This is based on the book Bad Luck and Trouble, the eleventh book in the Lee Child series. Alan Richardson could play Jack Reacher for like a hundred more years. Like I don't understand how he could, but whatever, man. So. So far, first three episodes, I'm in. It's good. It's great. But the man, he, I think he's a 39-year-old actor. He's too big. He sh he's just too big. This isn't as big as he is in Reacher Season 2. So he is like Traps 
they, they're like not, he has to add like another two inches on there it's just it's not enough it's not enough and the man, don't get me wrong, he's ripped. And he claims he's clean. Bro, it's okay. I don't, I'm not, it doesn't matter how you got this way. It's ridiculous. You're too big. When the character can't fit in his clothes and you look too big, you are too Hulk. Too much. You know, and I, I just, I just don't, I don't want to see. Like, it's okay. They could spray paint it on too, bro. Spray paint some abs on. Oh, they had to remove a tattoo? What? <laughs> he has a tattoo? Whatever. I don't need to see them spray painting his junk. But um, the man is... That's not even as big as he is in season two. He just got bigger. And it, it's just... It's illogical. He looks like a professional wrestler. He's just... He's too big. He's too big. But the other part of the... And fantastic. Just doing a great job. Keep up what you're doing. Just... Come on, man. You're too big. We, he's like beating people. His stunt double is probably like, I better slow down. Because he's when he's beating people to death with his bare hands, he's like, Hulk smash. He's just, this, this is crazy. This is crazy. Anyway, good job to you, sir. But think of this. There are rumors that he addressed. And usually IGN and... and People don't flood rumors, and I'm not much of a rumor person. Here at Our Reviews Will Kill You, we do not spread a lot of rumors. We usually just report on the facts. I, I'm not. A, we're not a channel where we go out and we're like, oh, we heard a little whisper of this. We're not clickbaity. We don't do any of that stuff. We just try to tell it how it is. But there are rumors that he'll play Batman because, you know, if I had a choice between... Alan Richson, perfect human male specimen, and you know Twinkle Sparkles, the vampire, in the Batman. And granted, he's a young boy, Batman, and he's a very solid actor himself. I'm, I'm not ripping Sparkles; he's fine in the Batman with Matt Reeves. I'm gonna go with. Alan Richson as a older I mean he you know Ben Affleck got on all the supplements and got himself nice and big for the Justice League and he did his version of Batman Alan Richson <laughs> he might put that boy to shame will he be a better actor than Ben Affleck that's a tough sell Ben Affleck solid actor I he gets a lot of crap but I really enjoyed his Batman thought he did a great job. Some it's controversial. Some people don't like it, but I, I enjoyed it. I really like Batman versus Superman, even though most people say, Oh, stupid. And I hate it. Martha. No, I liked it a lot. I thought it was very good, but he said he would love to play Batman. I mean, who wouldn't love to play Batman? I'm Batman, but uh, he was interviewed in some whatever podcast, but with all the rumors flying around that I'm supposed to play Batman, how can I knock Batman? I would love to play Batman. And uh, what they're saying is he might play Batman in Brave and the Bold because at some point the Matt Reeves Batman has to disappear because it doesn't fit in the continuity um, with with James Gunn's DCU it just doesn't and Batman Brave and the Bold is supposed to have Batman with his son Damien and Damien's gonna be a little bit older so Batman's gotta be a little bit older he's gonna have to be in his 40s <clears throat> he can't be in he can't be uh the same age as as Robert Pattinson so we'll see what happens there i think that batman 2 will resolve or the batman 2 will resolve matt reeves matt reeves will move on to arkham asylum so what's real stupid and this is confusing for people and i won't spend a ton of time on this but i'll just give it a brief outline for those of you who've been following the james gunn saga of the dcu and whatever he's creating with the new bat with the new superman and all that and the Brave and the Bold and all that, but you still have the Batman sitting out there. So the Penguin 
might be in the DCU universe. So there's a spin-off show from the Batman called The Penguin, and that might be in the DCU, but the Batman is not in the DCU. The Matt Reeves Batman is not. They're going to have a The Batman 2, but then Matt Reeves is going to move on, supposedly. Well, this is all subject to change to an Arkham Asylum story that is within the DCU. So that means that the Batman is not in the DCU, which means they have to end the Batman. Robert Pattinson will age out of it. It didn't do that well anyway. I think it only made like $750 million, which is great. But on these giant budget movies, they have to do better. And they need to reduce the budgets. They're, they're, they're way out of control at this point. But anyway, very confusing, I know. But what do you think? Do you think Alan Richson could play a really good Batman? I'm, I'm in. I'll do it. I'm good. I'll take it. I know there's probably half of you are probably saying like, oh my God, there's too many Batmans. Do we really need another Batman? Maybe. I don't know. I'm willing to give good actors who are willing to commit to the roles a chance to do something good. Matt Reeves, the Batman isn't bad. I'm willing to, and, and James Gunn hasn't done me wrong yet. I like Suicide Squad and I like <coughs> Guardians of the Galaxy 3. I thought they were really good. So I'm going to take it. I will take stuff that James Gunn will give me. There might be superhero fatigue, but I'll still take a good Batman story any day of the week. So you let me know what you think in the comments below. In the meantime, do us a favor. You could join the channel. That would be cool. Like and subscribe. Also cool. You can also check out our free podcast on iTunes, Stitcher, Spotify, all those great places and more. And uh, you can also catch at 7.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, Friday nights here on YouTube. We live stream. Come join us. It's a lot of fun. Super chat. And... As far as Alan Richmond being on, he 10 out of 10, all the Mexican supplements. He's 10 out of 10 on them, all of them, every single one of them. But he's still a good guy. Keep doing Reacher. Stick with Reacher for the next 10 years. I'm okay with it. Anyway, that's all I got for today, but I am on to the next one. Uh -huh.